Welcome back guys, it's George from Gem in 10 Collectors World. Today we're going to be doing my 10 card PSA reveal video. I just wanted to say thank you for all the support. We're almost up to 800 subscribers and growing every day. I just wanted to say that uh, we are going to be doing a big, big, big card giveaway for our 1,000th subscribers. So look out for that guys. That's coming up soon. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We have some cool stuff coming up. I have a couple more PSA orders coming, uh, mainly focused on baseball, football, and basketball. I got two big orders coming back, so I'll upload those reveal videos as soon as I get them. And also, guys, if you're looking, all these cards, and if you're looking for over 300 PSA graded new and vintage cards, and I just recently uploaded some mint uh, raw cards go to ebay store galamatageo underscore seven the link will be in the description guys so if you're interested in these cards or anything else to add to your collection just click on the link in the description and go right to my store i just wanted to show you some notable cards up for sale um, in my ebay store first up this is one of the hottest cards in the hobby this is the 2003 tops chrome lebron james psa 8 if you're interested in this cards guys once again click on the link in my description and go right to my ebay store LeBron's coming back soon, and uh, he might go for another title and another uh, championship MVP. So look out for LeBron. That card is always hot. Next up is another hot card. This is the 2007 Topps rookie card, Kevin Durant. It's also a PSA 8, guys. Kevin Durant starting to heat up. Uh, so um, what can I say about Kevin Durant? Uh, averaging 24 points for his career, he's going to get in the Hall of Fame. That's a hot card. Next up is a card that I have on my top five as the hottest cards of 2021. This is the 1997 Cardinal WWF Rocky Maivia Trivia Series, and that is a PSA 6. This card is starting to heat up, guys. If you're looking to get this card, it still has room, uh, a ceiling, a lot of ceiling on this card. If you're interested, guys, once again, go to my eBay store. Next up is a card that I just put up for sale. It's not going to last too long in the store this is the 2018 panini don ross optic luca rookie and it's a gem in 10 guys so if you're looking for a luca rookie there you go once again ebay store calamata geo underscore seven so we're going to get into this order guys this is a 10 card order now i do have two other psa orders coming so i focused this one was focusing mainly on hockey got a lot of people requesting uh, to do some uh, PSA hockey reveals. So this one is mainly for hockey. This, just to let everybody know about PSA, obviously PSA shut down right now. This order was submitted September 30th, 2020. Uh, PSA started at November 12th. So, and uh, I just got it back April 16th. So, and it was an economy order. So it was $20 a card. Back then, PSA allowed economy orders and it was 20 US per card back then. Obviously, they're getting rid of it now. We don't know what they're going to do when they come back, what pricing they're going to do, if they're going to allow us to do bulk orders. Everybody's waiting. Um, I do have a, a video of my top 15 raw cards to get while PSA shut down. Look out for that, guys. That was the last video that I submitted. So let's just get into this order. First up is the Rookie of the Year. And I think he's going to be a stud for years. So pick up his card, guys. This is the 2019 Upper Deck Cal McCarr Young Gun. And that is a gem in 10. So for a good start to the order. Uh, this is the first of two that I submitted with PSA. This is uh, the second one. It also got a gem in 10, 2019 Upper Deck Cal McCarr. Next up is one of my my second favorite rookie from last year this is quinn hughes and this is the canvas card i like the canvas card look on this one because it has the retro vancouver canucks uh uniform so this is the 2019 upper deck canvas quinn hughes young guns and that also got a gem in 10. nice looking card on that one here is another guy that is hot, and he's starting to he just got two assists uh, a couple of days ago for Montreal. This is the 2019 Upper Deck Nick Suzuki Young Guns, and that is a gem in 10. Now, these uh, <coughs> Young Guns Upper Decks, uh, if you look it over with a magnifying glass, uh, especially the canvas cards, the canvas cards come pretty good, thick stock. So as long as you don't uh, mishandle it. Um, and to look it over, you should get a 10 on this one. This is the 2019 Upper Deck Capo Caco, and this is the Young Gun Canvas, and it got a gem in 10. And here is the Cal McCarr 
Young Gun Canvas in a Gemin 10. Really happy with this order, guys, and the grades. Uh, this is, uh, start. I, I started using the Jewelers Loop for this order. And uh, so it kind of makes you take out any uh, cards that have imperfections. It's hard, sometimes it's hard to see without a magnifying glass and a light. I'd suggest, guys, with the prices we're going to be paying soon, that you just uh, go in and take a look because um, uh, the price drops dramatically on these ultra-modern cards when you go to nines and eights. Probably not worth it with the grading prices. This is the SP Jack Hughes NFL Draft. So this is a short print. Uh, from the number, number one overall pick. Jack hasn't uh, broken out yet, guys, but still has a lot of uh, potential. Um, I don't know. It's 50-50 on he's, if he's going to be a top, top pick. Like, they, he got drafted, but still a good-looking player. 2019 Upper Deck Jack Hughes SP. And that's a gem in 10. Now we got a couple uh, uh, grades that didn't end up being gem mints. This is the Quinn Hughes, just the, the young gun. And it got a PSA 9 on this one. I am focused I focused in on uh, Quinn and Cal McCarr when I pick cards uh, to grade on this one. Here's the Jack Hughes, the first overall pick. This is the Young Guns, and I got a 9. I submitted a lot of Jack Hughes cards. I just can't get a 10 on the Jack Hughes. I, said, I think this is like my sixth Young Gun I submitted and got all 9s. Maybe I'm missing something on the Jack. I'm going to look over. I got a couple more I'm going to look over make sure that uh, I get a 10 on one of them. Last but not least, this was one of my cards that I was most excited for, and this is kind of the disappointment. One card that I was disappointed in this one, it's the Car Kirby Doc, and Kirby Doc is a good, good young player, guys, if you're looking for guys to invest in. And this is the Clear Cut, and uh, it got an eight, and looking over, uh, I do see a surface issue right over there. I must have missed it when I submitted it, but uh, it did get an eight, and I see I do see a surface issue. So this is the clear cut. I made a mistake. Sometimes you, you, it's wishful thinking. You get a really really good card, you pull it from a pack, you get excited, you want to grade it, and sometimes you kind of see something and just hope that it gets passed. So, and just a word of advice, guys, if you are going to do that, um, it's sometimes with the grading prices, it's better off not to grade it if you know that it's going to get a, like like an eight or or something like that so overall i'm um, very happy with this order and the grades I did have one disappointment on the clear cut uh but you know uh, looking back on it i probably saw something there and i just hope that uh that it get a high grade anyways which is a mistake guys um everybody wants higher grades than they get everybody wants all tens but sometimes nines are good i i i'm starting to to grow on psa nines and their value because uh, there's not much difference uh, between a 9 and a 10. Think about it, guys. It's up to the grader on that day that he's grading, and they don't take too long looking at the cards. So the difference between a 9 and a 10 sometimes is not a lot. So um, take uh, take uh, more interest in PSA 9s, especially when grading gets a little uh, more expensive. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, we have a couple more PSA orders coming in, um, mainly focusing on baseball, basketball, and football. Uh, this one was just a ho the hockey order that I put in. Um, we also have some pack breaks, some box breaks, guys. Um, and the number one thing is the eBay store. Uh, I just uh, put up like 10, 15 cards up for sale. I just started to put up some lots of raw cards, of classic cards and stuff like that. So if you're interested to add to your collection and any of the cards that I showed you in the beginning of the video, go to eBay store, Palamata Geo underscore seven. And it'll go, I'll have the link in the description. And give me a like and a comment, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I always like to hear from you guys. And and look out for that 1,000 subscriber big, big card giveaway I'm going to do. I'll be posting a, a something on that soon. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.